This video introduces the concepts of triadic post-tonality, maximally smooth cycles, and the hexatonic system. Major and minor triads are basic components of functional harmony. Since the late Romantic period, composers have started to extend the traditional tonality by experimenting with a smooth voice leading progression between consonant triads. As illustrated in the following example, the voice leading progression between the major or minor triads can be classified into five triadic transformations. The first triadic transformation is called P for parallel major or minor triads. It indicates a semitonal motion between triads that share two common tones and one common root, like C major and C minor. The common tones C and G are preserved while E moves to E flat or vice versa. The second transformation is called L, Leitonwechsel, which is German for leading tone exchange. Let me explain this transformation with an example. Take a C major triad and an E minor triad. These two chords share the notes E and G, which are a minor third apart. The remaining voice shifts semitonally from the note C to the leading tone B. This process is known as L. The third transformation is known as R, which stands for relative, major or minor. The voice leading progression involves a whole tone shift in a single voice, which is from G to A in the C major and A minor triads. The fourth triadic transformation is called S, slide. This transformation involves two voices rather than just one. It relates a major triad and a minor triad that share a common tone, which is the third of the chord. For example, C major and C sharp minor triads keep the common tone E, while C and G, the fifth spanning the triad, moves to C sharp and G sharp, or vice versa. The last triadic transformation is called N, Nebenverwandt, which is German for adjacency relation. Here the root of the major triad becomes the fifth of the minor triad, or vice versa. For instance, the C major triad inverts around the common tone C and becomes the F minor triad through two semitonal shifts in two different voices. These five triadic transformations can be used separately or used together to form a transformation chain. Let us take the triadic transformations P and L to illustrate such a chain. In the example shown on the screen, the music alternates between these two transformations. Starting with A flat major, the music moves to G sharp minor through P, G sharp minor then moves to E major through L, E major moves to E minor through P, E minor moves to C major through L, C major moves to C minor through P, and finally C minor returns to A flat major through L. This alternation between P and L forms a closed cycle of six major and minor triads, which means a triad will return to itself after a series of transformations. If we display the linear harmonic progression in a circle, the idea of a cycle will become apparent. In the article, Maximally Smooth Cycles, Hexatonic Systems, and the Analysis of Late Romantic Triadic Progressions, published in Music Analysis in 1996, Richard Cohn draws attention to the fact that a similar harmonic progression is heard in the second half of the first movement of Brahms' Concerto for Violin and Cello in A minor, Opus 102. The passage that Cohn cites is just before the recapitulation. Similarly, it begins with A flat major 
and goes through the PL alternation. In fact, it is the same harmonic progression we analyzed in the previous slide. After returning to the starting point, in other words, the A flat major triad, it then moves to G sharp minor triad to prepare for the arrival of the cadential dominant seventh. You can click the audio button to listen to the triadic progressions in this passage. Cohn theorizes further in his article the properties of the cyclic harmonic progression. There are two main attributes. First, maximally smooth means that there is only one voice moving and by a semitone in each transformation. Cohn refers to this as the maximal voice leading proximity. The second attribute concerns the application of triadic transformations to create a maximally smooth cycle, in short, an MS cycle. Cohn points out that consonant triads can form an MS cycle by alternating between P and L transformations. The cycle featured in the Brahms example is one of the four co-cycles that symmetrically partition the 24 consonant triads. All four co-cycles are shown in figure one. The co-cycle we have discussed is at the top of the system. Cohn coins the term hexatonic system for the four co-cycles in figure one. The total pitch class content of each PL co-cycle constitutes the set class 620. For example, the system at the top, comprising of C major, C minor, A flat major, A flat minor, E major, and E minor, uses only the six notes of the hexatonic collection C, E flat, E, G, A flat, and B, and their enharmonic equivalents. The remaining three systems draw on their respective hexatonic collections. For instance, the hexatonic collection C, C sharp, E, F, A flat, and A supplies the pitch class content for the system to the right. Within a cycle, the triads that are adjacent to one another are related by a single pitch class displacement, hence two common tones, and they are modally mismatched. In other words, one is major, while the other one is minor. Hence, the C minor and E minor triads have a single semitonal voice exchange with reference to the C major triad. Next, the triads that come next to the adjacent ones. In other words, the E major and A flat major triads have two pitch class displacements, hence one common tone with reference to the C major triad, and they are modally matched. Finally, the triads that are diametrically placed have three pitch class displacements, and hence no common tones, and they are modally mismatched. This pair of triads are also known as the hexatonic poles, which they exhaust the hexatonic collection and are maximally disjunct within the cycle.